you know, my parents listen to this podcast, but okay. I mean, it is what it is. Like we're talking about some important stuff here. The circle of life. We're, we're saying the quiet parts out loud. All right. What's up, friends? Welcome back to the number two pod. I'm Glenn. I'm Simi. And this episode is going to be really good. Delicious. Nutritious. Conservative. Scandalous. Delicious. Qualified. Technical. Cupertino. Sunny Vale. Condoleezza Rice. Britney Spears. Coupon. Jackie Chan. Taekwondo. You don't know. What, what you know that you know. Welcome back to the pod. As always, I'm Glenn. You can follow me at Glencation on all socials or Glenn Haney. Links are below. And I'm joined by my long-term co-host, guest host. Lover and friend. Similion. Check out his socials. We've been posting a lot of vertical content. And I've been deleting a lot of content. So while we've been removing, we've also been adding. So check out our social content. And people are. There's thousands and thousands of views. So thank you for those that are watching it. But you are not listening to this because you're not following the pod. <laughs> you're just watching our shorts, which I don't blame you. It's easier. It doesn't count until somebody stops us in the grocery store. It doesn't count till somebody stops us at a left turn at a red light. And then I'll be like, chaperone. I don't want this anymore. I don't want this anymore. Isn't it amazing that we as a society have decided it's okay to treat strangers poorly and famous strangers poorly? Yeah, it's wild. And I don't think people really understood how bad it was until social media and mainly TikTok. Because you see like the interactions, the, the, the whole Karen thing that's happening with people just like acting out. Yeah, just people bothering celebrities in a way that's kind of inappropriate. It's amazing that in a world where there is some, obviously there's not efficient accountability, but in a world where there is some accountability because people can videotape, and this is obviously like a much deeper, more intense issue, but that is not enough to have people just say, what is the right choice in this moment? Well, I think it's early on. So keep filming. Keep, keep smiling. filming. Keep smiling. Yeah. I mean, it's unreal. Anyway, so we're on all platforms now. We are on platforms now that I hadn't even heard of like all the main ones, Amazon, YouTube, Apple, Spotify. But now we're on like MySpace. We are on MySpace, which is insane. So if you have friends that use those platforms, they are way cooler than we are because I'm a commercial sellout and I just subscribe to Spotify. But the most important question is, am I on your top eight? Am I in your top eight or else? Please put us in your top eight, please. Insane. Anyway, the first topic of the day today is very political and controversial. Just like our podcast. Building tension. That's what they say. Like if you Google how to have a podcast or a successful YouTube, they say you need to build tension and then release the tension at the end. Piss everybody off. Piss everybody off, which is stupid. So we're just going to talk. But if you feel tense, then we did something right unintentionally. <laughs> How do I push you off even more? In 2024, I'm reducing <laughs> conflict. <laughs> Just toxic. You're so toxic. Wait, so what, what was the... Uh, what was the topic? <laughs> controversial topic. Oh, okay. So we've like lightly discussed politics on here. Yeah. And I feel like it's important to generally mention that the Democratic National Convention happened. So this is all I know about the Democratic National Convention. Yeah. Which is like a mouthful. When did the... RNC happen. I think it was last month. It's really interesting because if you think back to elementary, elementary school, elementary, element, is there a T? There is a T. Spelling. Um, <laughs> obviously, I really succeeded in elementary school. Uh, in the middle I don't think school, you pronounce it like so, but you do pronounce your like button. You say button is that button, so you can say elementary. I fully pronounce words. Anyway, carry on. Not the point, but I do do that. I don't remember anything from my formal education and i have a college degree but in particular i don't have a clear understanding of like i generally know how we got here but when you really think about it you're like so there's just two it's like in high school where there's like two main people running for class president and it's like you aren't even really allowed to like listen to the other side because you've already joined one party you can't really switch you know because it's like you have the merchandise like you have i think at the end of the day it's just a bunch of children who grew up who think they know something that are trying to do something but nobody really knows what they're doing 
Nobody knows what they're doing. It's like every corporation in America. So what the point of the bringing up this topic is it should be clear who I'm voting for because we have no choice. Well, like, what are the issues? You know what I mean? Like, at least when you're running for a student class president, it's like it's like what RuPaul said when she hosted Jimmy Kimmel. She was like, I'm going to put chocolate milk in all the vending machines. You know, usually there's a plan and it doesn't seem like for the past eight, 12 years, like anybody has the issues are like at existential it's not like every single person is very poor and cannot afford anything and this is like a b and c what i'm going to do instead it's like there's trouble at the border but we don't know how to solve it we're spending too much on foreign wars but we're just not going to stop you know it's like all these external things that people are voting on and it's crazy because like where you know it's like i would i would be like a hundred percent gung-ho for anybody that was you know going to actually make an effort that impacted me or my community or like anybody, you know what I mean? Like if they were like, we are going to, you know, do this tax on TikTok and it's going to pay to fix all the roads and we're going to have the best roads in the world, you know, like, and people would be like, great. Like, yeah, the roads are terrible, <laughs> like yeah. you know, but like, that's never what they say. It's just like, I'm going to do this and everything's going to be better because of me. And it's like, well, I don't think we really have to understand government. I think the real issue is we have to understand the Illuminati. Is it the Illuminati? Like, mm-hmm. it's got to be. That's brainwashing us. I mean, it's crazy. But in the Illuminati, number one rule is... Don't talk about the Illuminati. Because it's naughty. Because it's naughty. Yeah, I mean, that's like an even body, deeper body. issue. Anyway, we're not here to get political. I just think I'm going to make a statement. In 2024, like, there's some really smart... I'm not one of them. But there are some really smart people. Speak for yourself. And there are people... Like, this is the way I think about it. It's like, there's all these corporations in America that are trying to make money for the shareholders. And it's through, like, micromanagement, cost-cutting, like, really intense money stuff. And they're really good at it because these companies are making trillions of dollars. And it's like, why can't those people work for the government and be like, wow, like, we have a homeless problem. Like, this is the best way to solve this, you know? Like, and I get it. There's bureaucracy and there's all these things in the way. Like, everybody's quick to say, like, this is why it doesn't work. You know, it's like when you move to L.A., they're like, traffic is really bad. And it's like, yeah. So then, like, what's the solution? Are we we just going to talk for 50 more years about how bad the traffic is? You know, like, who has the solutions? Maybe we'll have a woman president and we can start girl mathing. Please. I mean, can you imagine? I feel like Abraham Lincoln, he's probably been reincarnated, what? 12 times. 12 times by now. I mean, his reincarnated soul is rolling down a hill. Down a hill at an outback steakhouse somewhere, livid, that we have not progressed more. I mean, it's it's astronomical. So vote, please, please vote. That's the other crazy thing, how many people don't vote. I mean, they're just like, and I get it if you have to work. Like, if you work one of these horrible jobs, like I've had jobs where they're like, we will give you two hours, but you can't leave. And you're like, so then I can't, you know what I mean? Like, and then you had... To have done the mail-in thing, but you can't do that everywhere. Oh, I mean, how do you, you just make it harder for people if you're trying to suppress Yeah, voter suppression. You know? It's insane. Yeah. So our message to Tell all you people. Tell as time. But again, like, these are the things that we talk about, but it's like, then the dialogue needs to be, then what's the solution? Like, because if you don't have a solution, you shouldn't be in power. You know what 100%, I mean? 100%. You have to I go. Think at the end of the day, everything should be solution-based. Literally, it just should be like, no, like, we're done hearing your explanation. Like, you messed up. Like, you have to go. You know what I mean? Like, you, no, like, you got to go. Because it's like, it's more than just you. You know what I mean? Like. But a lot of it is solution-based for the bottom line. So crazy. What do you guys think of everything that's going on? There are people who are in those seats that have been there for, I mean, decades. Yeah, it's insane. And it's time for a change, you know, uh, a younger, new. And I mean, even my generation, like we're old enough or getting to be old enough to make those decisions. So, yeah, I don't know. It's, it, it'll be exciting to see in the future or how the future unfolds. Well, and it feels like it's a recent phenomenon where individuals like are refusing to retire like that's a big problem right now it's like that's why a lot of people that are millennials can't get jobs because boomers are just working till they die and they're holding these roles that 20 years before they would have retired or they would have joined like the advisory council you know what i mean it's like if you're older and you have a ton of experience like your wisdom is valuable but you shouldn't be at the seat of power at a company because i mean that's why i give it up to biden just because oh my gosh he was able to put his his country before the party you know i mean talk about like 
an ego thing. And he's the only person to do it because there's a thousand people in government where it's like, yeah, you, you can get reelected, but if you're hurting your community, you know what I mean? Like you're fine. So it's, it's fascinating. I feel like enough people now are self-aware and like, if this election doesn't go well, people, I mean, people, I would riot in the streets because my life is halfway over, like, and it hasn't gotten better. You know what I mean? Like it's gotten minutely better, you know, like when I, grew up like I couldn't get married as a gay man like I couldn't you know even now like in a lot of communities I can't just be myself and it's like it's 2024 I mean it's crazy it's crazy so at what point can we just be ourselves and be happy and be Americans you know what I mean never never it's like it's like all these people watched The Handmaid's Tale and they were like that is what I want well that's why we have to fight for our rights to party no more partying. Anyway, let us know in the comments what you guys think. What's our next topic, Simi? If you're looking for the next political podcast, you've found it. This is the one. Well, since we're talking about blue states, the next topic, I think, is blue balls. Absolutely not. Pass. So, okay, so there was this thing on TikTok where, you know, people were saying that blue balls is not a, a real thing. And then there was women saying that only guys only say that because they're trying to gaslight women to, you know, do whatever. But I have experienced blue balls. And I think you've told me you don't get blue balls. You know, my parents listen to this podcast, but okay. I mean, it is what it is. Like, we're talking about some important stuff here. The circle of life. We're, we're saying the quiet parts out loud, all right? So, you, yeah. I think you've explained to me that you have never experienced blue balls. And what is blue balls? Okay, so blue balls is when you get excited, then you come down, then you get excited again, and then you come down again. Like, so many times to where you start getting really bad pains to the point to where it feels like you just got kicked in the balls like it's that bad until you actually release anyway so i've met people because you know you talk about this stuff as guys a buddy of mine was just like what like i never had blue balls and i'm like what are you talking about like like it, it's it's one of the things that hurts so bad. you've never experienced it too right you've explained this to me no idea i've and also it, never had i a, mean had a buddy discuss the comments, this with me you know that it happens to yeah, me at least yeah. it just hurts really and i've bad. seen the tiktok stuff yeah sound off in the comments if, if this happens but just because i know it does i'm not trying to gaslight anybody but like it's very painful and very true that's crazy i mean i believe it's a real thing i don't like I mean, obviously, enough like, people have it hasn't happened in it. a very long time, but I just thought it was wild that there's uh, there are people who have guys who have never experienced it. And because of that, it was mostly women saying that, like, oh, it's a fake thing. It doesn't really happen. And you're just gaslighting us True. because you're trying to get us to. Well, because obviously women don't get it. Of course. But because they don't have balls. It weirded me out that, like, there are other people like you or other friends of mine who just don't go through that well it's like goes back to like taboo topics that are just like normal that nobody talks about yeah. you know i want like a doctor to sound off and be like like what's the real tea with all that like and how it all goes down and yeah why i'm and sure there's been a study who, what, where and why everything with men's anatomy like has been studied because it's like why is it so painful like it's insane anyway watch somebody writes in the comments like hi i'm a ball, kamala harris balls. can you answer this question for us no i feel like they're gonna be like i'm a ball specialist and that level of pain you need to you need to have this test done and it'll be like <laughs> cancer or something you need to get checked you sir, need to get checked that is abnormal it's crazy i saw a story on tiktok where the guy had posted a video I don't even think it was about whatever, but basically the person saw the person's skin and a doctor reached out and was like, hey, you need to go have this test done. And it ended up being skin cancer. Oh, yeah. I saw that about someone's eye. Like there was like a, a reflection on someone's eye and they were like, hey, get your eye checked. And there was something about the eye as well. I mean, the power of the Internet. So we can solve blue balls. Yes. Here on the number two podcast. Let me know if I have to go see a specialist. Because maybe it's like you need to have more. I mean, it hasn't happened in a very long time, but I know what happens if like you get excited, you come down, you get excited, you come down, you get excited, you come down. And then you're like, oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah. I mean, you need to. Yeah. Maybe it's like a vitamin thing. You need like more vitamin E or K or something for your like <laughs> glands or, you know, it's always like something weird where they're like, you're not eating enough. It's your blood type. Spinach. <laughs> or like, yeah, it's your blood type. The science is there. The, the internet is just like not sciencing. 
they're gatekeeping the the data. Your balls are too small. You're gonna have to have a ball enlargement surgery, <laughs> a ball job, or something. That's crazy. Wow, we're really controversial on the the pod today. Politics, Politics testicles. Who knew? What other what other thing is blue? Blue, 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 blue. Our next topic for the podcast is swimming. You had recently mentioned to me how you wanted to swim more. Yes. And it's like, I've been thinking about it since you said it. And it's like, I don't know if it's because we live in an apartment. There actually is a pool in our apartment building, but it's... It's more of a, it's more of a, I, I don't even know. I don't have adjectives Cesspool. to describe it. Um, but it's really crazy when you think about like when you're a little kid, like our nieces growing up and are both of our nieces and they have like a fun splash pad and like a little pool. So it's like, obviously they have access to that. That's not really swimming. When you become an adult, you really just don't get to swim unless you have a really nice building I mean, with you, a pool. Yeah. If you, ha- or you just have a house that has a pool. I just want to start swimming more because I... Don't know if it's true or not, but I believe that it's a good workout. Like you're working muscles that you usually don't work when you're running or. But it's also like super fun. And it's like for sure. It's like close to the water is like therapeutic. You know, it's like. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things. So and my dad just built a pool at his house and he's getting older you know, he's like in his 70s now. Right. And so he's been going into the pool and he'll come out of it after like swimming for a couple hours, just like having fun. And he's like sore, which yeah. is a good thing because I, I love that my dad is like exercising in that way. That's like something that's fun, but also keeps him active, you know? Yeah. But it's crazy. I mean, it's like you would think there'd be more. It's such a good form of exercise. There'd be more opportunities like the 24 hour fitness we go to has a pool, but it's I mean, I would. I would rather learn to do the science of the chlorine than get in it, you know? Yeah, where are the postings on? Where are the health postings? Where's the phone number I can call? Do we just bring our own little test strips? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I want to learn the science because I don't trust anybody. And then um, I don't even know if you can go to a public pool around us. Like there's one we used to run by, but it has like weird hours. You know what I mean? It's like, what happened to swimming? Like... Why is swimming so inaccessible? You'd think that like big pool would monetize it, you know, like with the concession stand. I'm just saying. Whatever. I'm going to gatekeep the pooling. I think people are here. gatekeeping the, the swimming. You see all those videos on TikTok? are like, uh, you're not supposed to be in this pool. Are you a part of this community? Do you live here? Oh, yeah. Those Karens, you can go to hell. Not crazy. People care that much. Community. Yeah. Absolutely not. One of the great things we have recently done, and we've talked about this on the podcast before, is we installed... Oh, a bidet. I can't believe this is a topic. We did it. We did it. Only when we're short of topics. Are we talking about... Well, this is the number two podcast. My mom bought us like a... Th- 30, I think it's $40, screw in bidet in 2020. Yeah, when we never, it's like plumbing. You have to plumbing. Like do all that stuff. So we never installed it. And at one point we got a storage because we just accumulated too many things. So we put a lot of things in storage. And that was one of the things we put in storage. And recently I had house at for a friend, cat sat. And they had bidets in both their bathrooms and it was life changing. So recently went to that storage and I grabbed the bidet. It's nice. Like, I still don't really get it. Like, I want to do more research because you still have to wipe. You know what I mean? It's not oh, like 100% you still have to wipe. But like, I definitely feel a lot cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's very crisp when it hits when you turn it on. Well, Pro tip, you don't put it all the way. No, I know. I've never. You just like put it a little bit but so even it comes that. out because it's like cold too. So you're like, woo. Yeah, even that is a lot. Um, but I did it where I like no, cranked I've it. Never done and that. And the pressure, it was just like pressure, pressure washer on your tish. Yeah. Like I kind of get it because they don't really clean public restrooms. You know, like the sanitation is questionable. So I get why they don't have them. And it's more money. It's expensive and they have to maintain it and plumbers and so it's a money thing, you know? No, oh, well, yeah. You know, like it's pretty nice. I don't know. Maybe like the fancier places. Like if I can go to the Beverly Hills Hotel, y'all should have it at least. Or just some way of, I mean, I don't know. Just people, you know, like needles and like, it's like, who knows what people do? That's the only problem Ew. with that. Well, it's like, I always think like at the gym, the other gym I go to, they have, they like provide high end shampoo and stuff. And every time I'm using it, I'm kind of like, What's in here? You know, <laughs> like, no, you don't if it's attached know. to the wall and you can't really open it. So then these I kind of trust oh, it. These you can open. 
Oh. The only time I've ever seen it be more secure is if you go to Disney World, their hotels, it's like they do refill it, which is probably better for the environment, but it's like it's like it's down. Because yeah. remember once the body wash was, I think that's important yeah. if you can't you know, open it so that other people could like, I don't know, spit in it or something or other um, stuff. Yeah. It's even like, worse. I think that's great. Gross. But yeah, I actually, that's something that I do worry about when I see things like that. And I check to see if it can be tampered with or not. Cause then I'm like, absolutely not. I'll do a body wash. So if any of you guys have a bidet or are looking to install one, say, Hey, we are happy to be sponsored by Toto. Toto. Hey, Toto. That's like a thousand dollars though. Toto. We'd be nice. like shouting out like random like brands on here. It's crazy. You're welcome. Anyway, all right, friends. This has been a quick one, but a good one. We are no, almost to 30 episodes of the show, which is insane. They say most podcasts don't get past five episodes. Isn't that what they said? Who's they? Just the internet. They them? Thems. Yeah. So we are open to feedback. I know our topics are all over the place. And people like a niched down podcast. So that's probably the reason you've either fast forwarded or or an or not completed every episode. So we're not trying to be like the most niche podcast, but we're trying to be like fun. I mean, you guys kind of get the tone, but we're open to feedback of what you guys like. Feel free to put it in the comments. That helps us make a better show and look forward to something special on our 30th episode. Wait, is this our 30th episode or it's coming up? This is 28, 26, 27. This will be 29. 29. So we're working hard on something special. Even if it's just a costume change. Yeah. We're excited for the 30th podcast. We're getting so old. We're getting so old. Anyway. All right, friends. Thanks for listening to the number two pod. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. We are available on all platforms. Don't forget to follow me on social for all the latest from the pod. Follow Simi for all things food, food, and culture, and drama. Feed me. Until next time. Bon appetit. Bon appetit.